to infinity and beyond and 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 welcome to a quick report as you may have noticed this coronavirus has taken over the world and so many of you wondering what are we gonna do we can't buy masks because amazon is sold out we can't buy hand sanitizer because not even walmart has so what are we going to do the only thing we know how to do and what to do and that is to talk crap because nothing else can solve that situation exactly so welcome to i'm down there we go bam Okay, man, let's get the show popping. Let's get it started. If you're with us last week, you know that we George talked. You're triggering people's lives already? We That's talk- early, bro. This is early, oh, this show. Yes, you yes. got to trigger people's uh, lives? As I was say, you know that we started to, you know, try to um, come with a little bit of structure here yeah, and there to yeah. the show. Order, order, order. A little bit of order, you know what I'm saying, so we could flow a little bit better. And within doing that, uh, some people were definitely triggered last week. Um, so a little recap. This took a lot of shots, though. Uh, for sure. Uh, so a small recap. It was... Um, we talked about two things, right? Uh, first, first thing that we wanted to start with was uh, reckless tweet of the week, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the reckless tweet that we focused on was uh, the tall men, the seven feet men situation. Um, that one got, you know, when I asked the the proposal question and the whole thing on Instagram, uh, the back and forth, well, it was pretty good. It, it wasn't too bad yeah. on that one, right? A lot of girls were, you know, trying to sidestep. You I know, told here you. And there. Uh, I don't think I was answers. Yeah. As long as they're taller than me on heels. I told you that was yeah. the answer. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, a lot of sidestepping. Like, nobody wanted to be like, uh, the real, it's the truth. The you real know? answer is women are just never satisfied. Pretty much. <laughs> that is the real answer. Pretty much. But, you know, again, everybody tries to sidestep. Yeah. Cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? We can respect that. We can respect it, yes, that. Yes, and, and expect it. But now, the one, correctness. Now, the one that, tri- and, and I will say this, this was amazing to me. Now, I don't know if it had to do with the timing. Or stuff because you know the timing usually dictates certain mm-hmm. things. So when I posted the first one, it was maybe during the day. I want to say maybe like uh, two p.m., three p.m. around there. That's when I posted the first one, right? Which was you know uh, what women women thoughts of a seven mm-hmm. feet tall man, yeah. whatever. Then when I proposed the second question, which was the second tweet, which was about women don't build, I posted that one pretty late. I want to say maybe around six p.m., seven p.m. Happy hour hit. <laughs> right well but I, which was my thing though my thing was you know if people are a little bit looser at this time and they see this they might be like oh <laughs> motherfucker you know but no i didn't really get too many answers on that um i did get one very big pushback from one girl and this is it, so funny so okay this argument with this girl it's her opinion solely mm-hmm. so so it's, it doesn't really go that far mm-hmm. right but even with her opinion, I just think it sucks. In my opinion, it's just it doesn't make. It's like you have the right to be wrong. Yeah. Okay. Put it like this: We get into this argument, right? And at the end, I go, "Okay, you know what? Let's just get down to it." So, in your personal opinion, mm-hmm. you think that a rich girl would fuck a broke dude? She said, "Oh yes, especially when it comes to sex. Girls don't care." So I go, "Okay." So you're right. So I guess a rich, I guess a rich girl that lives in the penthouse wouldn't mind coming to my parents' house so I could fuck her in my room while my parents are downstairs. <laughs> and she's like, exactly. And at that point, I'm like, okay, one of two things is happening here. Either you're just being petty, you want to be right, yeah. so you're not gonna admit to this shit, or you really feel that way. And either way, it's just dumb to me. Like I just don't feel like that's realistic. It's not real. Imagine a girl, right? You're a chick, and first of all, you bossed up like that, and you probably dealing with bossed up dudes, right? You imagine a girl that lives in, like, a penthouse. Imagine high penthouse, right? <laughs> she drives a nice-ass car, a G-Wagon. I scoop her up in the HHR. <laughs> Y'all coming in, guns blazing. Pull up to Leticia. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait. You already know my speakers is booming with the phone. <laughs> I got the little phone right there. The there. Booming in the cup holder. It's like an echo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I play right, some Drake. Right, I see that. Uh, I, see. I, put, I put it to Leticia's house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling her, shh, shh. Yo, you got, you got, you know, go to stairs quietly. You know what I'm saying? Quietly. And <laughs> we then go. Jenny opening her door and she pulling up. <laughs> right, like, uh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and then while we're in the room, be like, yo, bro, just make sure you don't make too <laughs> much noise. Don't be banging the exactly. door, the walls. Listen, man, at the end of the day, I think that this goes to show that some girls, not all girls, because there's another thing, too. I was like, yo, this does not go for 100% no, of the female population. No, it's never going to go, yeah. It's never it never go will. Way. It's just not, you know, it's not realistic. But I was saying most girls, I think, would, you know, go that way. With the, ca- the category, within the category. Yeah, they, they will stick within the category of, nah, but I want somebody who, you know what I'm saying, if I'm making X amount, they need to be either making X the same or higher, you know. But like I said, man, it is what it is, man. Like you said, women just, you 
you just don't satisfy mm-hmm. them sometimes. So it is what it is. You got a reckless tweet today, bro? Nah, man. I was gonna say, do you got one? Nah, it was dry this week. Yes. You behaved. Yes. Well, everybody, I had a Twitter. You behaved this yeah, week. Yeah, like I, I'm going through Twitter this whole week. I'll be at work. I'll be like, let me see what's going on. Yeah, there. I, I didn't nothing. see nothing. Nothing too crazy. Like you know, cause like there's levels of craziness. Like everybody in Twitter is crazy for sure. But the ones that forward you, the ones you forward me, are the ones that are like highlight yeah, recklessness. Yeah, yeah. I like, so this week, I, I think people, you were behaved. Good for you. You know, you had a good holy week. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm. you know, we'll we'll bounce back next week for sure. I will say this though, I got some shit for the guys, bro. This <laughs> what happened, bro? I saw this um, so Vice, right? So I've been I've been catching up some Vice things because Vice does a lot of a uh, little short uh films like doing documentary yeah. type of things, right? Okay, so they did one on male plastic surgery, right? So they they focus on these guys in uh Miami. I think both of them were in Miami, right? So I, I just want to focus on this one, right? So apparently, and I might get the percentages wrong, but I think um, since like, I want to say like 2012 or something like that, the it's been like a 20% or 40% like like grown, uh, I guess like, I don't know how to say this word, I guess. Increase. Like, increase, there we go. Increase of like male plastic surgery, mm-hmm. right? And so what, I'm... What, but what, what plastic surgery? Or just anything um, in Just in general, like j- okay. just overall in general, right? But more, I, I guess... In this specific one, they're focusing more on like cosmetic, more like you know your face, your, per- your nose. Yeah. And not like no, I was born with a disorder, or you know I was gonna accident or nothing like that. It's more like yeah, I just want to look prettier yeah. type of stuff, right? That, that. Okay, so it's this guy. He's like, yo, you know, man. No matter how he's forty, so I understand. You know, if you're into fitness a little bit and stuff like that, you understand. Like once a male hits thirty, testosterone levels go down. Once you hit forty, it's even a little bit. You know, you can only imagine it goes yeah. even lower. So it's a little bit harder for you to. Uh, maybe the body that you got when you were 20 is going to be a lot difficult to get to, that same type yeah. of shape when mm-hmm. you're 40, right? So I understand that that last skip. So the guy's basically saying, yo, you know, no matter how hard I work out, no matter how hard I die, I just can't lose the, the, the bottom belly. Again, you know, for men, the hardest part to lose is that yeah, bottom part, the right? Bottom, that, yeah, the, the little gut. The love handles, the little yeah. gut. That's, that, that's where, you know, most of the fat just concentrates mm-hmm. for men. You get me? So he's like, you know, no matter how hard, you know, blah, 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 I can't get it. So his thing was he wanted to get um the lipo, lipo thing and the whole restructure so you could get a six-pack, right? Okay. He's like, yeah, you know, I got the four-pack on deck, but blah, blah. So I'm thinking, okay, whatever. Let's let, let let's continue listening to this because I'm a big proponent of believer of like, bro, that shit does not exist. If you think you're going hard and you're not getting the results, you guys, you're not hard, going hard enough, right? There's That's, always another level. Yes. You okay. know, th- th- that was just my initial thought. So they're recording him in the gym with his trainer, right? And, you know, his trainer's one of those trainers that's a little bit, like, uh, out of the box, I want to say. Like, like he's like, man, come on, fat boy. Give me more reps. Give me more reps. Keep that shit going, that weak-ass shit. He's like one of those trainers. You get me? That he's, like, like, really trying to get in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, ooh, okay, but cool, wh- whatever. I, I'm like, I don't know if this is the best trainer for this person. Because clearly, the minute you go into, I want to do plastic surgery, it's because you're insecure. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, yeah. No, no matter how you want to put it, you could put it in nice yeah, words. You're not, you're not when, satisfied with how you look. Exactly. Sure. And, and, and what I mean by nice words is that some people might put it like, no, you know, if I just like, you know, I put this up and I feel a little bit better, it's insecure at the end of the day. You get me? So I don't think that that kind of training style to where this guy is psychologically at is the best, but whatever. It is what it is, right? So it's essentially his trainer, like, you know, he has a conversation with his trainer. He's like, you know, man, I come in, I work hard, blah, blah, blah. His trainer's like, man, look, the thing I don't see is that you're not consistent. You don't, you don't, you don't stay to this thing all the time. And right then and there, it's like, bro, why would you go the route of getting plastic surgery when you already, maybe he doesn't even know, but his trainer's pointing out that you're not consistent. He's telling you that you still need to engage another. Yes, like, like, like you're not there. Like, but if you were week after week, month after month or whatever, die, you know, keeping it strict. And you still can't lose that weight. I might understand your fr- your frustration. Right? Yeah, but at that point, I would ask, "Are you even working out?" If week after week you're doing, you're killing yourself, and nothing happens, right? Because because that's what he's like. he's like, "Bro, I'm in here, I'm working out, I'm killing this, and I still don't see the results." Blah blah blah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like whatever. Right? But his trainer's basically saying that, bro, like you're just not consistent. Yeah, you're not putting in the work. Right. That so we his should. thing is, he just wants you know instant gratification, mm-hmm. whatever. So I'm thinking this whole time, like, okay, you know, let's go through it. Whatever, he's going through the process. He gets the, the work done, right? So, obviously, once you get plastic surgery done, you have to wait, you know, like, maybe a couple of weeks, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, inflammation has to go down, all that stuff, right? You might so, have some bleeding. Right. And, I'm, first of all, look, he gets a surgery. 
I don't think it's impressive at all. First, but of he me. gets he gets the lipo or he gets the packs too. So, he lose yeah, yeah. So you could get the fake. No, he didn't get the fake packs. What he did was he got the lip the lipo. I guess is what you want to call it. You know, they they stuck out like fat from here from the back, all of that stuff, right? And he didn't get the fake abs or nothing like that. It was just his whole thing was he has the four pack, but he doesn't have the the last two or whatever. So he just wanted to lean that out as yeah. much as he can. The okay, this is the thing with that though, and the reason I'm giving this guy flack for it is because, bro, if okay. First of all, if you can't get there naturally, right, just lose that fat naturally, and you go and get surgery, that just tells me that w- however it is that your lifestyle is going, that fat's going to come right back into yeah, you. Yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to keep it off. Exactly. Like, so that look is only going to last so long until you have to once again mm-hmm. either go through the surgery or realize, yeah. all right, but maybe I do have I to. I got to put in the work. Right. Yeah. So I, uh, overall, that, that that whole case was so weird to me. He, um, the other case was this guy. He was doing, you know, what PRP is right. Like, uh, the, that they get your blood, they spin it, and like it turns into, I guess, plasma or whatever, and they inject it right back into like a uh, certain spots. It, it so okay. So I know it more for hair, hair, uh, for hair loss, right? So Tory Lanez talked about it a lot when he was on his run for this whole Chick State Five. So, you know, Tory Lanez had, like, a receding mm-hmm. hairline. Now he got his whole hair back or whatever. So, essentially, what they do is that they, like I said, they take your blood, they spin it, they inject it back into the follicles, right? So, it could grow. And they do this with, there's, like, a form of therapy also. They do this with, like, um, like certain injuries and stuff like that. They'll, like, r- take out blood from, from you. They'll spin mm-hmm. it. And they, it turns into, like, plasma. I don't, I'm not sure how that whole thing went. And they will inject it back into, like, certain spots Which is, that like, stem cell, kind of, like. In, in a way, I'm not too 100% sure how stem cell works. You know, how, yeah. you know. Because, like, you'll take cells from a different place, right? And then they'll you put it to wherever you need to. And they'll start replicating to heal whatever mm, injury got you have or something like that. So, uh, yeah. So, so, it's something like that. Uh, I guess, you know. So, uh, essentially, the. What, what this is getting to is that just males in general just doing more and more of this you know stuff so i was okay you know what i guess i gave the girls a hard time last week so this week you're and, giving and, equality yeah and this week it's not so much i want to be equality it's just that it really did catch me i'm like bro okay the the fact that like i feel like we're getting to this point now where it's like okay women have come to this point where it's like, okay, well, you know, we need to be equal like the men, right? Men are not, this is almost like an evolutionary thing now. Men are not getting to the point where it's like, well, you know what? If girls could wear wigs, if girls could wear makeup, if they could wear a, a, a whatever spanks to snatch the fat and it doesn't look crazy, then I can go ahead and get me, when I'm bald, I can go ahead and get one of those little, yeah. you know, uh, lace front the, things. Yeah, crazy things going Yeah, on, I yeah. can go ahead and get fake muscles. So this is becoming like a, I don't know if this is like, really happening or is this becoming some form of comp- I don't understand what the fuck is going on this is why I kind of want to give the guys <laughs> a little bit of shit for this because I just I'm not in I just can't relate to that like in any sense you get me like 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 you know guys for for the most part and there's a, a big meme going on around this week it's like um but like guys they can't wear no makeup they can't wear no wig no nothing so if you're ugly you're ugly and that's kind of true in in, in certain in senses some sense, I don't yeah. want to sound shallow but you get what I'm getting at you get me it's, it is true but everybody's to, beautiful George <laughs> whatever yeah i disagree with that but you get what i'm saying though. like like there is no like yeah, thing like, for guys you don't update uh, or upgrade who you are right, right. like it, and if you do it it looks weird yeah. i mean we've seen it all, all the time right like you know guys the the whole beijing thing and like the black I mean, it looks even when dj Khaled does it looks weird to me like it, it looks like, like so Khaled, Khaled has a beard right you see him get the haircut and everything like he had you see that line that like right like i can see it like it's, it doesn't <laughs> look i don't know man i don't know so certain things to me when it comes to this because I, I just think plastic surgery in general um I mean, who cares about my views on plastic surgery but you know i just don't think that it is something some people should do some people do it because it does make them feel mm-hmm. better it boosts up the confidence blah 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 you know my whole thing is always to get to a root cause right like for example if i have some pain I don't want to take meds for pain. You get me? I want to know why I have this pain. You get me? Do I have a headache because I haven't eaten today? So I let me go eat yeah, some food. Low you get blood me? sugar or exactly. high whatever. Yeah, that, that, that just, most of the time that's what I do. You get me? If I, have so, if I have some type of vibe or something I feel, I don't want to run to like, oh, let me go to this. Mm-hmm. It could go away right now. And it's, you know, the next day I'm going to still feel like shit. You get me? So I don't know, man. But I brought that up just to say, what are your views and your thoughts since you have a bit of a cleaner mind than I do <laughs> on mind. this on this whole uh, male plastic surgery shit? I don't know, man. I, I think uh, I'm not I'm not even big on women doing plastic surgery. To be honest, um, I do understand that that sometimes for whatever reason, right? Whether you it was because you let yourself go or because you know you have certain uh, you know genetic dispositions. 
right? That sometimes plastic surgery serves like a like a restart, like a fresh restart. Mm -hmm. And from then on, because you know, even uh, people, uh, plastic surgeons will tell you, whatever you do, you're still gonna have to hit the gym. You're still gonna have yeah. to, you know, because you may have the stretch marks, you may have stuff that you need to tighten up mm -hmm. naturally. Like you can't really fix those, right? But uh, I don't know. I guess with women's is is more uh universal. I can understand it more. Like for example, the women who will, will fix the nose, will fix the breast, you know. Yeah. The butt, the abs. It's like normal. Yeah, too. I, normal I think nose. I think for we yeah, it's become more normalized to us. With dudes, it's extremely creepy to me. Like for example, you know, I think of Michael Jackson. Like they look really weird. Yeah, look weird. Yeah. Uh, um, sure. But as far as as like you know, taking what? advantage of science. What's I can, that, what's I can that racist guy's name? The guy from <laughs> the Clippers. Uh, Donald Sterling. Didn't he have plastic? Yeah. Surgery? it looks weird yeah. on him. A lot of people. It's like, it's like just it doesn't look, cause. I don't know. It just doesn't look right. At least I haven't... Some dudes, I guess, have plastic surgery and they can get away with it, but... Uh, like, minor. Like who? Like, um... Damn, who's this dude who has, like, the nose done? But it, he's already a good-looking dude. He yeah. just got his nose done. You get he, me? he got his nose done because he wanted it or because he... Because uh, he wanted it. It wasn't, like, a crazy thing. Okay. Um, But as far as, like, for example, follow this dude in YouTube, right? He was, like, swole, like a soldier. And that dude takes uh, HGH, mm -hmm. right? And he says, he's like... I wish I took an SGH, you know, and I I didn't do it just like crazy. Like he took blood yeah. tests to make sure that he was for taking the right percentages wait, of everything. Wait, for for the people who don't know, HGH is human growth hormone. Okay, just yeah, so you yeah, guys well, know. Yeah, I, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Just, you, just in case. I yeah, don't yeah. you because I know you know yeah, what yeah. SGH is, right? But uh, he was saying he's like I feel like I'm I was capping, mm -hmm. and that dude is a, a soldier. Like I'm not talking about this dude is ripped. I'm talking about this dude is big, right? Like yeah. he, he he's defined before but yeah. HGH or or with before it? before. Okay. He was like, oh, I feel like I'm capping, so I want to take it to another level, right? Yeah. And so, like, you know, he's trying to reach, like, this optimum development for his body. Yeah. Right? So, he's doing it scientifically. Like, he gets blood tests done all the time. Mm -hmm. He makes sure that his uh, hormone levels are, are like, at the at the peak yeah. of performance and not exceeding that to a point that can become dangerous. God. So, he's doing the, blood work all yeah, the time. Yeah, all the time. Constantly. So, he's checking the oxygen in the blood. He's checking, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, how thick the, the blood cells are. All, all that good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, him, just like much more athletes, I can understand that route, mm -hmm. right? Because that is also an enhancement. Yeah. But the plastic surgery stuff, bro, yeah. that's the stuff I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, I can understand when, like, for example, even that guy who says, yo, you know, I can't burn that. Taking maybe, okay, what if I can uh, get, you know, something that sells metabolism, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. blah, 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 vitamins or yeah. this or that. That I can understand. Because yes. it's a scientific approach to enhance what your body which should naturally be able to do. Yes. But when you're taking that shortcut or the, like, especially like, if you were doing the gym, And then you're complaining about that little girl. What I would ask is, what's your diet like? Right, right. Because I've seen dudes have not six packs, eight packs, ten packs, yeah, twelve yeah, yeah. packs. Of course, of course. <laughs> you know the 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 thought the whole thing with this is, is simple. So the guy himself is a big guy, right? He is big. He does carry a lot of uh, body fats. You could say, right? The the thing with it is 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 that even even going that route of like human growth hormone, like all this stuff, you are naturally almost naturally deleting the the natural creation of that in your body. You get me? Again, you start taking human growth hormones, like that, right? testosterone mm -hmm. uh, uh, and steroids, you know, which obviously boosts yeah. your testosterone. The, like, you know, the, the running joke with steroids for many years, like, oh, it makes your dick small, it makes your ball small because it's true. It's not like, oh, that's like some weird make-believe thing. No, it, it really does happen yeah, yeah. because, again, for males, again, if you, if you didn't know, For males, testosterone is created in the testicles and whatnot, right? So the minute your body is, the minute you start supplementing testosterone into your body without, like, like, well, okay, let me rephrase that. The minute you start taking testosterone, your body starts to realize, okay, I don't need to produce this anymore because your body is really lazy. You get me? When you go to the gym and you don't eat enough protein and you're breaking down your muscles in the gym, you're, and especially if you're not lifting heavy, your body is going to find ways to get rid of this extra body weight that it has. Mm -hmm. You get me? So and it starts with the sugars first, but then everything yes. else. And it does not go for the fat because for many, many years, right? The, you're, from caveman years, right? You don't have food every single day, right? The reason why you have stored fat is for your survival. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, your body already knows, like, yo, I need to store this fat because your fat is composed of calories. Like, a pound, just so you have an idea, a pound of fat has about 
3,500 calories. That is energy. You get me? Like for you to mm-hmm. move around, yeah. do your day-to-day things. So back in the day, you're a caveman. You didn't get to catch a dinosaur today or a ginormous <laughs> ostrich. <laughs> First of all, that'd be light work. <laughs> what you do today? Oh, I got a T-Rex. <laughs> oh, you never seen uh, gr- the crew? That's why yeah. it is. Crew that try to catch yeah. a big chicken and stuff, the eggs. You didn't catch something like that that day? Then, then... Yo, you need that body fat. So yeah. like, it's got at least, you know, you got at least Especially with like stuff. hard winters or whatever. It, exactly. That's why like those bodybuilders, right? That are like 4% body fat. That's not usually sustainable year round. Uh, some people do it though. You get me? But they supplement. Yeah, they take a hell of something. Yeah, exactly. You know, they do certain things because that's not, you know, your body doesn't want to do that. You get me? Yeah. Your body wants to be as efficient as possible. So the minute you start introducing things into your body that it naturally produces and you start introducing, it's like, okay, well, I don't need to produce this anymore. Why would I work overtime when you're already giving me, yeah, serum, yeah. you know, or testosterone? So then that's when certain things in your body start to get all fucked up. Mm-hmm. You get me? So. Man, look, I, I think the biggest advice for any man or for any woman in general is, yo, when you pick out these little things, you got to do what you enjoy to do, right? Whatever. If you love to run, go run and live with those results. You get me? Because I think a lot of this stuff, and we talked about it before, social media, whatever, it's just we look at other people, right? And we see the attention they get or we see the kind of love they get mm-hmm. or whatever, and we want that too. You get what I'm saying? So we feel as though, oh, well, we won't be completed. Mm-hmm. We won't get there until his whole thing was this. He's like, well, man, you know, I have, you know, I, I live a good life in Miami. I'm a businessman. I make good money, blah, 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 blah. You know, they see the guy driving a Rari, which I think is most of your rental, you know, douchebag stuff to do. <laughs> and he's like, man, once I get this, I'm going to be good. And that, that's what I want to highlight here is that a lot of people feel as though when they get these physical enhancements that they're gonna be good yeah. there's not gonna be nothing else missing you get me like once this shit is done they're complete and but i think that that is the biggest bullshit we tell ourselves i think that as humans i you know and, and, and you could bear with me here and correct me if i'm wrong because you have more knowledge than me in this but i think at one point we were this creation that was all-knowing no, no maybe not all knowing i'm sorry but we could uh, let's go a little bit let me regress to a hundred percent of our brains right so we we used to be able to use 100% of our brain at one point in time, right, as humans. And then that got lowered to whatever the rate is, 8%, 10%, whatever it is. I feel like naturally that is in, like, it's like engraved in you for you to always want to be better. The minute you reach a level, mm-hmm. you want to reach the next, the next level. One, yeah. You want to reach the next level. So, like, you go could have been, I want to make $100,000 a year. And you get to that. And now you want to make two hundred, And now you want to make five hundred, Now you want to make a million. And like you said... It will never be enough. Yeah. No matter what, it will never For be enough. Sure. And I think that a lot of people have the mentality that, yo, once I get this body that I've been working so hard for, and once I get this car, and once I get this house, and once I get this guy or this girl or this relationship or this marriage, that I'm going to be good. I'm going to be complete. But I think that no matter where you want to put that at, you will never be complete. You will Not never be sure. satisfied. because. We're always subconsciously trying to reach for that next level. Yeah. No matter where you get to, mm-hmm. you're never satisfied. And I think that that's where the whole point of being grateful has to come into yeah, play every single day. for sure. Yeah, like in, you see it a lot of time with people who have plastic surgery. Uh, they start with something small. Like they never go for something that's crazy. They start with the biggest insecurity they got, right? Mm-hmm. And then little by little, it's like, oh, but now I need an eye lift. Now mm-hmm. I need the the crow, whatever yeah, it's called. The eye, the yeah. mm-hmm. uh, now the crow's feet, I think it's called, right? Yeah, there we go. And it's like, now I need this. Now I need that. Now, I need that. and then eventually they can't even smile yeah. because it all, and they all started with you know something that they might have needed, and yeah. then it becomes something that they want. But you, I think you you talk about it all the time. Is as humans. This uh, desire for the next thing, the next thing. It's like the next thing is always the best thing, yeah. right? The problem is that we end up in the rat race that we always mm-hmm. talk about. And, um, and and I think the reason we talk about it so much is because it's the reality of everyone. Mm-hmm. Like that's the one common ground we all have is that we're never satisfied. Yeah. The millionaire wants to be a billionaire. Yep. <laughs> the, the hundredaire wants to have a thousand, yep. right? And if you're making minimum wage, you say, man, if I just made an extra dollar. Yep. Then you make an extra dollar. Mm-hmm. You're like, if I just made an extra dollar. You make a dollar, and then you start thinking, if I only had a hundred k, right? Uh, it's like that study that they made that the person who had fifty thousand was like, man, if I made sixty, mm-hmm. if I made seventy, yeah. and so everybody was just the next level for yeah. them, and, and that shit don't make a difference. Yeah, no, no. And, and spiritually speaking, you know, obviously, I, call, I to you guys make it very obvious. I come from a Christian background, but you see, most of the faiths right in the world all push to this thing that we need to push material things out. Mm-hmm. 
Because that's yes. the, the 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 lie that we tell ourselves yeah. is that the material satisfies and yeah. will never, will never, never. will never yeah. satisfy, no matter how much we try, yeah. including this material body, right? Yeah. Like you can have the most aesthetically pleasing body and you, everybody else can tell you it's perfect yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. going to be like, no, but I just need to get this definition a little more yeah. or I this mean, hair a little, whatever. We, we, we see that all the time with uh, with many people, right? Like <clears throat> there'll be an Instagram model, right? Guy or girl mm-hmm. that are... are all their messages, all their DMs, you're beautiful, you're this, you're that, I want to get with you, blah, blah, blah. But when they're asleep at night and they're in that bed at night, and or they look at themselves in the mirror mm. when they're alone, they're like, damn, but I don't like this about myself, yeah. I don't like that about myself. And that just goes to show, like, yo, no matter how much praise you get, no matter how much love mm-hmm. you think you're going to get from all these people, yo, none of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so pretty ugly. They're very true. Yeah, because you know sometimes, and sometimes you like, yeah, but if they knew about how I think or they knew how I talk. Because sometimes the physical, you can nail it. You're like, fine, yeah, I am pretty. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I'm insecure or I'm yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm scared. I'm lonely. I'm a, yeah. but I'm anxious. You yeah, know. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, like for example, when you look up at the Garden of Eden, right? Yeah. In the, talking about biblical sense, you see that man in that point has like the optimum environment. Right, mm-hmm. he has all the things he needs mm-hmm. because the way God displays this is, you know, you have you can eat from everything. Yeah. Right. He has companionship because he has his wife. Yeah. Right, and he has a perfect relationship with God. Yeah. You know, which if you're spiritual, you understand that that's what usually satisfies the soul. Right. Right. So he has all the things he needs, and yet God still tells him, "Hey, you have a responsibility to take care of all these and work." Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. there is a part of you that requires for you to go above and beyond mm-hmm. always, yes. even in the optimum environment. Mm-hmm. Right. But even in that optimum environment, man found something he didn't have that he wanted. Mm. Gotcha. And he had just had to go for and it. He had to go because mm. the, the life of the enemy is like, oh, uh, hey, look, you're going to be like God. But yeah. in reality, man could have been like, I already have everything. Yeah. The thing is that the one thing he didn't have is the one thing he wanted. Got you. And, and that tells us that even in the not, like, if you were rich, healthy, good looking, smart, able, popular, you're still going to find the one thing you don't have. Yeah. For sure, <laughs> you know, and it, it's funny you said that too, because uh, to to go a little bit back, you said that m- that men had everything, right? Like uh, all the things that he could want, all these things, right? But he still had responsibilities, right? He still had something to do. And I feel like you know, if if just me thinking about it, I feel like the the journey, the like even the thought process, like for example, when you're laying in bed, you're thinking about, oh, this is the car I want to have, mm-hmm. right? That that work, you working towards that. Is always so much better than when you actually you get, get it, the yeah, thing. Because yeah. once you get it, it's like I've done all this work for this. Because you're thinking that the thing mm-hmm. is what's gonna make you, but eh, you know, yeah, at that point you're like, okay, cool. That this is why they say the journey is always better yeah. than the because okay, it again, like you said, back in the Garden of Eden, this guy he has this perfect relationship with God. He has all things he needs. He has companionship. I w- we always talk about this. Those are the things that matter in life, right? Mm-hmm. Like like realistically, like, yeah, when we go on a trip, right? Every time we go on the trip, I literally pause and I look around I'm like, God damn, this is what the fuck yeah, this is yeah, all about. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Whether we be in the Airbnb or the little ass hotel room, whatever. Because because you you really think about the shit like, bro, I could have been right now by myself in a big ass mansion uh-huh. or whatever with a bunch of random people, right? Throwing a big ass party and that shit would mean nothing. You, you know could I mean? be I lonely in a room full of people. Exactly, because that shit doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then the minute you're in an environment with the people that you feel, you know, that connection with mm-hmm. and you care about and you're doing things that you both enjoy, it's a, it's a defining moment in your life mm-hmm. that you start to understand these yeah. things. And I, I feel like in that moment, that that's what you realize. Like, yo, for, for let's say for Adam, it's like, yo, I got my girl, I got food, I got my crib. Yeah. Yeah. And in uh, that spiritual aspect, you're you're good in that spiritual aspect. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Everything else just kind of starts to trickle down into like mm-hmm. meaningless things. I'm like, yo, give me responsibilities, yeah. give me a job because then I could. Because realistically, I feel like as humans, like you get in a relationship, right? And the reason why you need a fighting relationship is that like, it gets know, idle. Because, exactly because then it gets boring. Yeah. You know what I mean, like you need like it's like this thing with with. With in just in general, you need that pushback yeah, for everything. Yo, your dumbest decisions always come when you're bored. It, but bro, if your life was always a vacation, like constantly a vacation, a vacation, a vacation, then like you wouldn't even like think like yo, let's go on a vacation. Like that shit wouldn't even mean nothing to you. you yeah, it'd be whack. And you could look at it both ways. You could be like, well, that's a good thing. Or that's a bad thing. Well, that's a different argument. We could argue mm-hmm. that. You want to challenge me in the argument? Go ahead. You get me? But. In, in in general, I look at like Dan Bilzerian, right? Dan Bilzerian for most guys is like, yo, this guy lives a life. This guy's a freaking billionaire. This guy, good looking guy, uh-huh. great body, all the cars, all, all the, the girls, girls yeah. the best places, right? You see his interviews and he tells you, he's like, 
it's just normal to me. Like, it's not, like, he's like, I understand because he said, like, you know, he was, uh, he wasn't, he was never been broke, but, you know, he's like a, a lower lifestyle than what he has now, right? And he says, it's like, you know, like, the, the thing about having money is that there is nothing now that, like, pleases me, like, as far as stuff. Like, because there's get a nothing car, he can't attain. Yeah, because he's like, yo, when I get a car, it's like, okay, cool. Like, this feels good for, like, yeah, I remember he said, like, he wanted this car so bad, right? Uh, the Cobra, the, um, mm-hmm. like a 1967 Cobra. So he wanted the car so bad. He thought when he got the car, he was going to feel like some type of, he's like, bro, like, after, like, like a week, I was already like over the car. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like he go anywhere. It's like the best chefs, the best hotels, the best girls, the best everything. It, it's whatever. But he says for him, the best times has been when he spent the money. But for, for him, he said he was at a beach one time. He ate shrooms with like three of his friends or whatever and their girlfriends, and they, he had, he had the best time ever. And he said I spent no money on that. Yeah. You get me? And that that should trigger everybody to think like, yo, all of this shit that you motherfuckers worry about. Looking good, having a six pack, cause you want the girls' attention. Yeah. Cause when they get down to it, that's what you want it for. You want the six pack, mm-hmm. cause you want to be able to take your yeah. shirt off. You want you want to be able to do the Instagram thirst trap. Especially because you live in Miami, you know. Exactly, you especially if you live in Miami, you want to go to the beach and you yeah, you know, all this stuff that we say is vain, is vanity, is shit that we want, is shit mm-hmm. that looks cool. But I think that like you know when you think about it in the scope of things, when you really think about it, it shit doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. But when you, it's presented in front of you. It means everything. You get what I'm saying? What I mean, what I mean by this is like when you're walking down the street and you see that Lambo, you're like, damn, look at that Lambo. That shit looks hard. But then when we sit down here and we talk about it, it's like, oh, realistically, that yeah, Lambo don't mean no, shit. Yeah. Plus, it's too much of a hassle to take care of. Exactly. Once we'll, we'll yeah. you get into the detail of it, but when you see it, when it's presented yeah. to you in these nice, flashy yeah. lights and this nice environment where you know you're in design district mm-hmm. and uh, the girl with like ten Chanel bags is bad as fuck walking and she gets in the Lambo and you're looking at the guy like, God damn, you get what I'm saying? Like that that picture is like. Whoa! Yeah. But then when you break that shit down, you realize it's empty. It's cool for him, mm-hmm. and I don't know if it's empty for him. You get me? But the reason why I will want that, it will be empty. You get what I'm saying? I fuck the Instagram picture, fuck the the accolades. Like, like mm-hmm. shit doesn't matter. Like, yeah. It doesn't hold f- value. You get what I'm saying? But to an extent, do you think so? Okay, <laughs> nah, okay. I, I want to get to like the scope, yeah. but. But you, you kind of get what I'm yeah, getting. Yeah, no, no, of course, like, um, you know, this is something we used to argue with Fatima all the time, remember? When it'd be like, we would drive all the way to a place, whatever place that was, mm. just for a picture. Come on, come on, come on. Just for a picture. Come on. 2018 Pumpkin Patch. Oh, oh. We drove to, like, three different locations. Because it wasn't the right because one. Because it wasn't the right Just to take a picture and not even buy a pumpkin. <laughs> That was the worst part. You didn't even buy a pumpkin at the pumpkin patch. You just want to take a picture. And and all the girls on, on my Instagram feed were doing the, the same, same shit. Thing, yeah. I'm like, bro, this shit is lame, bro. Yeah, but, uh, you know, and that's obviously what we do within our budget, right? But it's like the the example the example of if we're doing things for other people or for the likes or for the photos mm-hmm. or for the picture, it's like you end up wasting your time because yeah. you're chasing the next thing. And you're forgetting about all that you already have, you know. Because exactly. if you can't be grateful with what you have now, you will not be grateful with what you have oh, then. No. And, and, and and it's just like this: if you can't, uh, and I'm a fu- I'm a fuck this all up. So you got a correction. You were talking about like being faithful or st- and good stewards with the small all right, things. Right, right, right. I, I think that's one of the biggest lessons because a lot of people they're like, "Yo, I wish I had more money. I want to have more money. I want to have more money." But then you look at the way they manage what they have now, bro. It's all fucked up. Yeah, it's trash. If you it's if, trash. if God were to bless you with more money, you will kill yourself. Yeah. You will go in like you know what I mean. So sometimes you the blessings that you think you're not receiving. It's because you're just not ready for the yeah, motherfuckers it's like yet. That, um, not ready for it yet. I, th- I think it was Cardi who was talking about how all these dudes think they want a, a stripper. Yeah. Oh, right? so they get the and stripper. Yeah, and then they're like always worried and like super jealous mm-hmm. and super insecure. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I want the bad girl. I want the bad girl. But then every five seconds you're checking her phone because you're stressing because yes. she's pretty. Yes. Right? Because yes. every dude wants it. And it's the same thing with everything else. I think money, money is the easiest example because money gives you options. Yeah. So you can see that, you know, at the end you end up make, making bad decisions mm-hmm. with it. But it's the same thing with everything else. Like, if we're searching the next high or the next buzz or the next whatever, we're still just chasing, chasing, chasing and never satisfied. And we end up more frustrated than ever because you end up at that realization which uh, Solomon has, but a lot of rich people do too. It's like, eh, money isn't everything. You know, like, uh, who is it? Uh, Warren Buffett, is it? The one that drives the old car? Yeah, yeah. He, he, well, he used to drive an old-ass Cadillac. <laughs> yeah. Like an old-ass Cadillac. You know when he was rich, though? Yeah, you know when he was while, while he was a billionaire. Yeah. And then uh, now he drives like a newer Cadillac, but it's, but it's a Cadillac. So yeah, like, but, but he says it, it's a reminder yeah. that 
this isn't all you yeah. know that I, I came like who i am yes, what i am yes. and, and and to get to um is, is that the car you get into is the house so yeah. the house that he lives in is the house that he grew up in and he says i can live anywhere in the world i still choose to live he lives in nebraska right which yeah. nebraska is like boring he lives in like this regular looking house he's mcdonald's every day <laughs> like literally every day says his wife puts um like in uh so he, what he usually gets, right? I, I forgot what he usually gets. But his wife puts a certain amount of change in the so in he the can car, buy the, the and he and he, so he doesn't know how much money's in there, right? So when he sees that it's like a dollar sixty nine, he knows he's gonna get like an egg McMuffin. When it's like a dollar forty nine, he knows he's gonna get like another thing. Yeah, you know I mean, so that's how that's his way of like yeah. switching shit up. But it's, it's what he eats everything. This guy's a fucking billionaire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, that should put enough. Yeah, or, or like Bill you. Gates who who started saying like you know. The reason him and his wife do so much uh, uh, of the philanthropy yeah. and so much of the investments in other people because they said that that's what's really going to matter to them. Yes. It's the impact they leave in other people's lives. Yes, very true. And, and we always resonate with that because that the most valuable thing you have is your time mm -hmm. and the people around you. Yes. If you can invest in that and really run after that, yes. everything else is a byproduct of that and ends up being a blessing to you. Yes. Like, you know, if you can be a good person and then have money, then you're going to be a good person who can use the money to be better towards others. Yes, very But true. if you're a bad person or a trash person, yeah. your character is trash, your integrity is trash, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you are still going to be miserable. Yeah. It's, it's, money, like you, you it literally just said, money just makes you more of what you are. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, it exposes what you've always been. Very true, man. So, you know, get the lipo. Yes, man. Don't get the lipo. Don't get the lipo. It doesn't matter. Do do you, bro? Do you, boo-boo? <laughs> do you? Just make sure you're a good person. Do you? Yes, Because if not, you're just going to be a jerk with a six-pack instead of a jerk with a four-pack. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> At least choose to be, you know? Like a <laughs> you don't have to be a good it's person, stupid, but be a it's decent stupid. human being. Like, at, 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 least, at least a little bit. Uh, yeah, you know, because every girl says that they just want a guy who's good, and it doesn't matter if he's ugly. Remember, you know, isn't that what every girl says? You know, I just wish like the female population could be more honest. That's all I. That's all I ask <laughs> for. But the thing is, I want them to be more honest with themselves, huh? Because we know what yes, they're saying. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. We know, but now every guy knows. It's well, like well, it's, it's we exactly have a word for that, George. What is the word for every guy? Ducks, ducks, quack, quack. No, no, quack. That's the thing. That's the thing. So <laughs> let's talk about the first duck in life, right? Which I think we all agree has to be Adam. <laughs> has to be Adam. Yo, look, Adam was innocent in his life, right? Uh -huh. For the most part. It took the now I will say this, I, and I'm gonna shift the blame a little bit, right? Cause I used to say the same shit until I saw Riches preach on this. And you probably know. So I used to be like, you know what? All this bullshit started because of a woman, right? A woman decided, or she got played by Satan. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, you know what? That shit sounds like a good idea. A fucking snake I've never seen before. That shit sounds like a great idea. And I'm going to tell my dude, yeah, but take a bite of this shit, right? That's like the same thing. That's equivalent to a girl. With being, her friend who's no, no, single? No, 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 look. That's equivalent <laughs> to a girl being like, oh, Keep playing with me, and I'm gonna get my boyfriend to beat your ass. And that motherfucker is like seven feet tall, and your boyfriend's like five four. That's equivalent. You setting him up? Yeah, you're setting him up for failure. <laughs> but now, it is said in scripture, in literature. Okay. Right? If okay. you don't want it, uh, if you know, if you don't want to hear about the Bible, right? It is said written because you know, in our lifetime, it's all about it being written, right? Whether yeah. it's a prenup yeah. or a contract, whatever, right? It says that, um, and this and this comes from Rich, that shit started popping off. When Adam bit the apple, yeah. so when Eve bit the apple, that's what it says. It, yeah, it does. I, I think so. I mean, that's what Rich said. <laughs> oh man, that's what Rich said. That's what Rich said. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it like that so that the younger people could kind of relate a little. That's bit. what Rich said. That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to relate to the younger people. That's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So stuff started popping off. You know, so it could be a little bit, you know, better mm -hmm. for y'all. So stuff started popping off when Adam bit that. Now, I don't know how real that is. This is a he said, she said moment because I didn't go back to my Bible nah, and read see, this. But you tell right, me. Yeah. So what happens, right? So what happens, and I'm going to make it the hood. Because this, this is what happens in the hood, right? Hood version. And this is what happens in life, right? There's that girl mm -hmm. who wants to give marriage advice but has never been married, right? Mm. There's that snake. That, that's that girl. The snake. Gotcha. the snake, the fake, the traitor, the seller, the big gotcha. mouth, the gossiper, right? That, that friend, Right? Gotcha, that's Keisha. Gotcha. That's Keisha. Keisha. Right, Keisha. you know Keisha. Everybody know Keisha. Everybody right? Keisha. Out. All right, so Keisha talking to your girl, right? Your girl, a good girl. She holding it down for you, right? She ride for you. She die for you. Like, all the good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. The thing is, Keisha telling, man, he, he, God, nah, he, he holding stuff for you. He tripping. Yep. And your boyfriend, he lost. Yep. He tripping. He and a wait, loser. Wait, and just so you have an idea what Keisha looked like, 
Keisha's single. <laughs> all right. Keisha got at least three kids. <laughs> at least three kids and like four different baby daddies. All right. Keisha got her hair done every day. No, no, my bad. Not every day. Every week at that little at, at the at the uh, little so spot no, yeah, yeah. where where the lady cook Chinese food and do hair <laughs> in the same spot. You think what I'm saying? With the long uh, nails. You and know, she like, do yeah, nails at the same nails. spot. You think right. what I'm saying? So now nah, that's a good premise. That's a good explanation. Yeah, just right? so you have an idea. So she's saying, you know, this this boy Adam. I got trash, right? Mm-hmm. That guy trash. So here, look, try this. This is going to set you right. You are never going to want that man again, mm-hmm. right? But the girl's good, so she tries it. She's like, this is fire. And then she brings it to her mans. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, Keisha, her mans. like, why are you listening to Keisha? The only instruction your daddy gave you was not to listen to Keisha. Yes. But no, no, but trust me, Keisha knows what's up. Try mm-hmm. this. And he's like, because, you know, man, to avoid an argument, will say yes and yes. do things they should not do For all the time all right so he tries it it's like oh it's kind of popping and at that point uncle phil comes oh, <laughs> uncle man. phil comes uncle phil right? okay okay and so he's like <laughs> what was the only thing that i told you will mm-hmm. because it wasn't mm-hmm. told to the woman it was told to the man that is mm. why god right god comes to him because he was told to him he's yeah. like hey you are the authority you are the head yeah right um and so at that point it comes the consequences of all of that mm. but it's a hood drama it's that girl yeah. that gave you the bad advice and you listen to her but she's never been in a relationship what she wanted to do is tear up the one you got yep yeah because look like, like i said the whole time y'all was fine about like why you don't put the toilet seat down? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why the bananas ain't at the top shelf and you put them at the bottom shelf? Like, you know, dumb shit. You know what I mean? Like, y'all were good. Y'all were really good. You just listening to Keisha because Keisha don't got her life together, but she gonna take advice from Keisha. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She over here bitter. <laughs> Obviously, she, want, she wants a friend. She wants somebody to join in her bitterness. Yeah, her bitterness so she's yeah. just hoping, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that your shit fall down. And that's basically how it went down. And that is the fall of the Garden of Eden. Ooh. You know Fire. what? We're going to start a separate segment where we're going to bring you Bible stories and bring them to BET. Yes, BET <laughs> style. I like that. You know what? I like that idea, bro. You tell me the story, I'll be like, all right, bro, I got you, bro. Yeah. We're going to turn it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so I, I got, got you, you bro. Y'all get your Jesus yes. and your BET, Ollie One. Yes. And we'll, we could put the tithes in the bottom. We'll send a link. Go for me. Yes. <laughs> I right, man, look, I, f- I feel like I gave the men uh, some shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm you need to turn up. You need to turn yeah, up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to cut this thing up and see um, and see what it is. So essentially, just so you get the premise of this, essentially is, I want to know, though, what do women think about men getting plastic <laughs> surgery? I really want to You know what I really want to know? Because this is how I honestly feel like this. I feel like, you know, a guy trying to get ripped and trying to get a six-pack and all that shit, like, he thinks it's for the girls because it's, it's understandable. Uh, yeah. I just don't feel like girls give a fuck about that type of shit as much as guys think. Unless a girl's trip. Look, because this is always going to fall down to the day I die. A girl's always going to want a guy who's at her level or more. <clears throat> so if your girl is ripped as fuck, then I can understand why she yeah, would want you. If she's a CrossFit you. warrior, yeah. you're stuck, bro. You can barely deadlift. But I don't see too many of those girls. I don't see too many. Oh, like, I see Laylee, bro. Super. Lately? I see some girls with Yeah, some, but you don't see more. I see some Wait. trunks. Lately, I've been seeing some trunks. Like a full tree trunks. Like these girls, girls? Girls that are built, bro. Yeah, but you don't see more of them than you do regular oh, girls. No, 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 that's what I'm trying yeah, to get yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. So for the, for the most part, that's what I'm trying to get For the most part, like those kind of girls, I'm sure they're guys. Yeah, are it's like, super warm. Yeah, like, imagine yeah. one of those girls with like a scrawny, nah, like super yeah, skinny guy. Nah, like, come nah, on, nah. man. You're going to get bullied. So, again, man, maybe I'm wrong. I don't I don't know. I want to hear from y'all. Let me know. You got anything else, big though? I don't you know, know, what you want to say? No, I think I think we insulted everybody today. No, nah, I think we insulted everybody. Let we me insulted see. women, we insulted men. Let me see. Let me Keisha, see. Kiki, everybody got it. Oh something. yeah, Keisha definitely got it a little bit. <laughs> and Let if you see. wonder who's Keisha, it's probably you. Right? Oh yeah. No, if you want oh, you definitely if you think it like that, do got a Keisha in my life, it, you might be the Keisha. <laughs> you might be the Keisha. Where you get your nails done? That's what I want to know right now. When you get your nails done, does a girl offer you fortune cookies too? Is like that, what's going is on? Is like, that, that me Miss Miss Wang? Yeah. That's a yeah. good special on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanna know, man, cause that shit's not crazy. Alright, man. I think that's it then. That's it for the show. Alright, man. Hey, once again, man, if you're watching this, like, subscribe, share. 
Do whatever the fuck you want to do. If you don't want to do that, don't do that because you probably saw me like, bro, I don't give a fuck who the fuck y'all niggas are. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck y'all are. We like you. You think though. I really sat nice and watched you. a full 30, 40 minute video of you two dickheads talking? <laughs> we don't know who the fuck you are. But, but, I don't blame you for that but either. But I'm a nice guy. It's cool, but I'm just saying, I don't blame them for not watching either. You get me? Because they don't know who the fuck we are. Too so shit, I shit. understand. This is exactly why I take my time every week to cut a couple seconds. Just so you can at least. Yeah, just so you can at least eat it a little bit. Like, just a little. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Because you know, like, once we get like the. Uh, like a Drake interview, a Rick Ross interview, or something like that. You might want to watch it. You know what I'm saying? gonna lie, I'm gonna yeah. die the day that we get a rich interview, and I'm like, Rich, this is what George thinks you preach like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That'd be cool. You gotta become <laughs> friends with Rich because you white and Rich is white, so I think that you know that'd be a good like ensemble, like a good mix. Yeah, yeah for sure. Because that was that was, I that was the racist thing ever. Because you're white, you hang out with white people. That's well, what he said. Rick, that's all I see. Rich hang out. I don't all right, guys, this is the wait, end. Wait, wait. <laughs> pause. Do you ever see Rich hang out with other people than white people? Like, yeah. Like on his thing. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm not watching. My bad, Rich. Man, you don't care. You don't watch this either, man. All right, man. Once again, we appreciate you guys for your love, the for the races, view, bro. for everything. <laughs> Until next time, this is I'm down. Peace. Peace.